Hey guys, Ivan here and today we're gonna do a little throwback, so we're gonna revisit the biggest rivalry in bodybuilding. And yeah, it was the biggest one, because these guys hated each other. They respected each other, but they wanted to fight so many times, and not outside of the stage, but actually on the stage, while they were competing against each other, so they wanted to be in a fist fight, literally. <laughs> This example right here that you just watched was 2014 Mr. Olympia, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. They got into a fight almost. I mean, they literally had a physical contact. Look at them, look at them pushing their elbows. And uh, look at this. I mean, this can be considered a physical assault, right? I mean, it's very close to that. And Phil is the one who is ignoring Kai. Phil is not trying to start a fight. He's just posing. He's just trying to be more dominant on the stage. That's how you do, that's how you pose on a bodybuilding stage. But Kai, he has some anger issues, admittedly. He admitted that. And occasionally he bursts, he cannot control himself. Thankfully, this didn't turn to a real fist fight. I don't know, should I say thankfully? Maybe I would like to watch that. <laughs> that would be funny, that would be interesting, but it would be definitely a huge scandal and it wouldn't be the best thing that happened to Mr. Olympia. And whose fault was this? I don't know, you tell me. But as you can see, they have room. They have room on both sides, but they want to be in front of one another. So that's how it all started, and then Kai bursts like this. But no, the fight did not happen, thankfully or unfortunately, whatever you prefer. The next one, I believe, I'm not sure, I think this was 2013 Arnold Classic. As you can see, Kai and Phil are in the middle, and now they are about to hit the front double bicep pose, and that's the worst pose for them. That's when they, <laughs> they, they almost always get into a fight. At least some elbow pushing occurs. So Phil hits it, and then Kai does the same thing, but he puts his whole arm in front of Phil's arm, so he's covering his entire arm. Phil doesn't want it to be that way, so he, he does the same thing, at least he tries. But he cannot even hold the pose because they're pushing their elbows. Phil is laughing. Phil is having a good time. He knows that if this seems like they're actually fighting, judges will not like that. So he's trying to stay positive. Now Phil hits front a lat spread and Kai follows with the same pose, but he calls him to look at his quad. Of course, Phil is already focused on his pose and he cannot look at Kai's legs. And uh, I'm sure he did not do this in purpose, he did not ignore him on purpose, he just, you know, was doing his pose. He cannot focus on Kai right now. So they, they keep posing, they keep posing, it's all fun, it's all good, there's no problems right now, they're just, you know, being fun, they're making this sport exciting and interesting. It's always good to notice some rivalry, even on the stage, especially on the stage, unless it goes far too far, and they actually start literally fist fighting. That definitely wouldn't be the best thing for bodybuilding, I mean, not for professional bodybuilding at the highest level, such as this one. I understand on an amateur stage, but on the best stage of them all, I mean, second best Arnold, and these are the best bodybuilders at this point. So again, back double biceps. So when their elbows are up, that's when they get in the, in the curl. And I mean, judges are just risking everything right here. I mean, they want to see some rivalry, but they're risking because this can easily turn to a fight. And a fight on a stage would definitely not be good. It would be a scandal, it would be bad publicity. So here Kai cannot even do bad double bicep because of Sean Roden first. As you can see, he's pushing him with elbows, but Sean is too weak for Kai, he can do it. But only he's covering his arm. But okay, Kai is fine with that. But on the other side, Phil is hitting back double bicep too. Phil has no troubles in the beginning, but then they start to collide. They start to clash their elbows. There is no, no room for both of them. Phil is not happy with how things are. Kai is, Kai is pissed at this moment. Kai is pissed. <laughs> so he says, he's just thinking, I'm just gonna push his arm because I'm stronger. Yeah, Kai is definitely stronger than Phil when it comes to training. But Phil, Phil is holding his own, definitely. And Phil is doing a better job doing this pose. Kai cannot do it. And so he, he's pissed. Again, he bursts. He cannot do it anymore. He's barely controlling himself. He's barely holding off from hitting Phil. At this moment, look at him. He's swinging his arm. He's considering that. I'm sure he is. At this point, he's thinking about all the years that he invested in bodybuilding and they would be all ruined if he did that. So he's kind of finding some strength to control himself. He's taking a small step forward, but still decides to get back into the lineup. He almost left the stage there, maybe, I don't know. And uh, they go to the next pose. So Kai managed to control himself. This did not become a fight, but now they're doing back double bicep. Are they gonna clash their elbows here? Okay, no, this one is fine. Now they have enough space. But let's go with the next pose. 
The next pose is gonna be a side chest, and no, they're not gonna fight in this one, but let's still watch it, because, I mean, I miss this quality of contenders. You can see here uh, Roy Winkler on the hard left, and uh, he was not yet ready to be one of the top guys this year, he may even win the Mr. Olympia. Dennis Wolf is there, Sean is also there, but not as big or as shredded as he is today. And you see a very good version of Phil Heath and Kai Green in the middle. And now this pose is not good for <laughs> probably either of these guys. I mean, Roll is fine and Sean Roden is okay also, but the rest of the lineup, um, not really good. I mean, they should maybe even consider removing this pose from bodybuilding because very few guys can even do it properly. Nobody has tight midsection and well-developed abs, pretty much. They all have bubble guts. And they still do. Uh, just a handful of bodybuilders has good stomach. It's really a rarity today. As much as it was a rarity back then to have a developed back or legs. Now they all have developed backs and legs, but nobody pretty much has a proper midsection. The next video is the same competition, but a different angle. And as you can see in the top right corner, it's actually not 2013, but actually 2012. Uh, Arnold Classic, of course. And here you can see it close up, so you can see their faces, basically. Phil is laughing. Kai is laughing, but his face looks sour. He's, he's trying to laugh, but I'm sure he's pissed. He's not very happy about the situation, because Phil somehow, he's more dominant, he's more aggressive, and somehow he manages to do his thing. And not only physically, not only that he can push his elbow harder, but he's able to show more confidence, and that definitely helps on the stage. That makes you look more dominant, maybe it turns judges' eyes towards your physique a little bit more, and eventually Phil Heath usually turns out to be a winner. I'm not sure about 2010 Arnold Classic, I think that's when Kai won, but it was very close. Anyways, uh, from that point forward, I'm pretty sure Phil Heath won every single competition against Kai. All the Mr. Olympias or Arnold Classic, Kai never beat him after 2010. But I know one thing, I miss these times very much, because it was the greatest rivalry of all time. It was not Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman, because it wasn't even close. Jay Cutler was great, but he wasn't as good as Ronnie, and these two guys were very, very close, but very different. And they hated each other's guts, but not literally. They both had huge stomachs, so I think they were both proud of their physiques, and the part of it was a huge gut, so... They didn't hate each other's guts, literally, but they definitely hated each other, and uh, it was obvious on the stage. Back in the day, you also had Arnold versus Lou Ferrigno rivalry, but that wasn't really something special. I mean, Lou took third place when Arnold won that 1980 Mr. Olympia. So once again, we're watching Kai versus Phil. Great quality of bodybuilders. I mean, that's something we cannot see today, nor can we see this kind of a rivalry. I mean, this year it's gonna be between Brandon uh, and uh, Rowley, but these guys train together, they train in the same gym, they're friends. The same thing is with William Bonac and both of these two guys, so they're all like each other, there is no rivalry, and it sucks. I like to see some rivalry. I mean, these past couple of years, after 2014, Phil was kind of winning every Mr. Olympia easily, and there was no rivalry. I mean, he had an argument with Big Ramy once, but Phil absolutely destroyed him, it wasn't even close, really. I mean, no, it wasn't close. It was obvious that Phil is gonna win it. He lost in 2018, but there was really no rivalry, because nobody really expected that. And this was something special, this was something special. Now, the last one that I chose for you guys is this one, and I think this is the worst time. Look at this, look at this. I mean, this was reason enough to disqualify Kai Green. I mean, this was just too much, and it was uncalled for. So Phil just, you know, touches Kai Green, like, come on bro, let's do this, let's do this, let's make this fun. And look at what Kai does. He just continues doing the pose, but something is happening in his head, with his anger issues, and he bursts there, and he charges. Look at this. Whoa. But Phil doesn't even flinch. I think so, I think he didn't even flinch. Maybe his left arm moved a little bit, but I think that's how he poses. So he completely ignored him, he managed. But imagine if Phil actually flinched. Imagine if he flinched hard. That would be embarrassing. That would be horrible for bodybuilding. I mean, this was too much. I think Kai really went too far with this one, and I never understood why he was the fan favorite. This should definitely not be tolerated. This should be an automatic disqualification. Because this is too much. He went too far with this one. And what do you guys think about this? Do you think this was okay? 
What do you think about their rivalry? Do you think it was okay to put them close to each other like this and risk a fist fight? Or would you like to see a fist fight? And if there was a fist fight, this is a question for you, who would win? What do you think who would win that fight? Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if it was fun for you, I'll leave a like down below. And if you want to see more all kinds of bodybuilding related videos, subscribe to my channel. I'm never skipping an upload day. I upload videos every single day. Thank you very much guys for watching. All the best. Bye bye.